I'm Dr. Anthony Maloof of Eyes and Faces and Corneal Oculoplastic Surgery in Sydney and welcome to this episode. The eye has a number of lenses. And without the lens, without the cornea, you won't see. The cornea sits in front of the eye like that. So let's have a look at the cornea. Normally, it's a lovely dome and your camera lens will have a lovely aspheric dome so you get a crystal clear photo. In keratoconus, with constant rubbing, that beautiful dome becomes a cone. And that cone leads to distortion and blur. So how do we go from that back to that? That's where surgery comes in. In surgery, it's possible to simply remove that cornea and open up the eye. That's a full transplant. That's actually no longer the best way to do this procedure. What we want to do is peel that front layer off and leave the vital cells on the back of the cornea in place. They're your cells. God gave them to you. And if we transplant them, you'll reject them. So we carefully peel the front layer off and that takes a very meticulous dissection. But the advantage is the eye stays strong. You get to keep those cells and we can do a big transplant and replace as much of this damaged tissue as possible. To perform this surgery, the dissection is quite meticulous. This cornea is only half a millimetre thick. So naturally we need a microscope and we need very careful equipment to peel off that front layer to the desired depth and then replace it. That peeling off process means the patient can't move. We generally put the patient to sleep and keep them perfectly still. The cells on the back are only 10 to 20 microns thick, so any movement will cause it to rupture. So with the patient perfectly still, we peel it off and then with stitches put a new transplant in over the top. That takes about an hour, an hour and 15 minutes to do. The advantages are that we don't go into the eye. In fact, this is a procedure on the surface of the eye. That's the biggest advantage. That means you won't get an infection inside the eye. Other big advantage is you don't get rejection of these vital cells on the back of the cornea. We eliminate the risk of glaucoma. And of course we don't damage the structures inside the eye because we stay well away from them. But finally the most important thing is the eye is relatively strong afterwards. A full transplant can rupture. So any form of injury can actually cause the cornea and the eyeball to literally explode. Following a layered transplant, we retain much of the strength, which is better safety for you. Thank you for watching this episode. I'm Dr. Anthony Maloof of Eyes and Faces and Cornea and Oculoplastic Surgery in Sydney.